Let's make this bright, high detail sports photo edit in Photoshop. In this video, we're gonna be exclusively using Camera Raw Filter in Photoshop. So if you'd rather use Lightroom, Lightroom and Camera Raw Filter are very interchangeable. You should be able to follow along just as closely to this tutorial. So to get started, I've already dragged in our photo just in its own Photoshop document. You can see the dimensions are of a pretty high res photo, 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. To start, we're just gonna unlock this layer, take it off of our background layer, fill filter, convert for smart filters, and then filter, camera raw filter. Now let's start with our lighting adjustments. So the key to this like high detail look is really in the shadows. If you boost up the shadows, you can see we're getting a lot more detail in the hair and the darker parts of the photo. So let's keep those up a good amount. And then typically you want the highlights down a bit, not too much, like we don't want it totally flat seeming, but going too bright with it and you're kind of distracting from the rest of the image. So I like to lower them a little bit. We'll go to like minus 30 for the highlights. We can play with the exposure some. I mean, I, I feel like this is a pretty well exposed image to start, but maybe we just want to up a little bit of brightness overall, and then increasing the contrast, we can start to get some more separation with the colors and just accentuating the dark parts and the light parts. And when you're using camera raw filter, you can hit the backslash key as a shortcut to see like a before and after. And I also wanna increase the whites and I usually lower the black. So we're getting this nice contrast, but really the key again is in the shadows. So this is a great starting point. Let's go down to color. You probably don't want to mess with color much. I mean, I think this image is maybe a little bit on the yellow side, so we can maybe add some blues, lower the temperature a little bit. And the vibrance and saturation we're going to get into later with specific colors, so we're not going to touch the overall values right now. Let's go down to our effects. You can increase texture a good amount. You don't want to overdo it just because you start to get all this like extra grain that you don't need. A good amount of texture is definitely helpful for this style. And then clarity, again, you don't want to overdo it. This is just kind of like a, what's called a fried image. It's just like overly edited. So go gentle with the texture and clarity somewhere in like the 20 to 30 range should be plenty. If it starts to look a little too overly edited, that means you've gone too far. Vignetting tends to help just bring the spotlight to the, the middle of the photo, especially when we have a portrait shot like this of just a player face in the middle. I think vignetting is a nice touch. Now let's go down to our color mixer. So here's where we're gonna play with the individual colors and really mess with the grading of the image. So specifically looking at the skin tones, this is gonna be your oranges primarily, maybe a little bit of the reds as well, but I'm always gonna skew the skin tones a little bit more towards the red rather than yellow. And I just feel like that brings out just this overall high detail feeling of a photo when the skin tones are like a little bit more on the red side. So the reds probably don't have to touch so much, but I also wanna see what happens when we boost the saturation of the oranges a little bit and we're really starting to get a lot more like vivid colors to this image. And we can also bring out the blue of this jersey a lot more. So if you go to your saturation values, you can see the blues, just increasing those a good amount. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in the aquas. And you can also play with the hue of these blues to however you want the image to look. Maybe a little bit on the lighter side, but we want to try to stay true-ish to the actual value of how these look in real life. You can also see going to the luminance values, we can drag the blues down and we're getting a lot more vibrance just by making it a little bit darker. So I think that also loans itself well to this effect. So we can see our progress so far just by hitting that backslash key. This is what we started with, totally unedited. And now this is where we're at again, a lot of of good detail in the hair and face. Now the eyes I wanna key in on here because you can do this like outside of camera raw filter just by adding some curves layers or adjustment layers and specifically masking out the eyes. But you can also do this and again, in Lightroom too, you can go to these radial masks or, or brush masks and just highlight spots and then edit those specific parts of the photo. So if we go to our brush and now we just click and drag the spots that we want to edit. We're just going to click and drag over his eyes. So now we've selected the parts that we want to specifically edit. And now we're going to increase the exposure a little bit. You can play with these other values like contrast, highlights. You can see it's getting a lot more white in the eyes. And again, bringing up the shadows, we're getting a lot of that eye color. And you don't want to go overboard with this. Like you don't want it to look 
again, overly edited or weird in any way, but just playing with these values so it makes sense to you. We can try to play with the saturation a little bit, really pop the color of those greenish blue eyes, and maybe even messing with the clarity a little bit should be a nice effect. So again, before, and after, nice pop of color with the eyes. So some other things you might play with, you could go into your curves adjustments and maybe continue adding contrast and like a little bit more specific of a way just by making like a subtle S curve. I mean, again, you don't wanna go extreme with it. And then color grading is another area where just depending on your colors of your image, you may or may not want to adjust these similar to the overall color and temperature of the design. Color grading lets you get a little bit more specific. Like if you want the dark tones specifically to have like a little bit more blue in them, kind of a, a cooler effect to the photo, you can do that and also bring the highlights up to more of a warmer tone. The last thing we might want to play with is in this detail category and that is the sharpening of the image. So if we increase the sharpening a lot, you can see it's it's making it sharp everywhere. We're getting a lot of noise in the background and we don't want all that. We wanna mask this so it's only sharpening like the edges of the player's face. So if you hold option on a Mac and click and drag this masking dial, you can see the specific parts of the image that it's affecting. So I'm gonna drag this like almost all the way to the right so it's just getting his like hair and face detail and some of the jersey. And now you can see the sharpening is not messing with the background noise at all, but in reality it's just playing with the, the face sharpening. So if we hide this, and then reveal it again. You can see there's just a little bit more pop to the individual hairs on his face and head. I'm gonna leave things there, we'll hit okay. And we can see our high detail edit compared to, let me just duplicate this layer, take off the filter. This is what we started with, flat unedited image. And then this is what we ended up with. Great detail in the eyes, hair, and jersey. Just a really nice overall crisp look to this photo. And this could serve as a great start to any poster design, just having this high detail cut out kind of in the background. I do think this technique works especially well when you have like a good face portrait shot. And obviously the more high resolution the image, the better. Hope this video was helpful. As always, let me know if you have any questions.